I'm going to do a video on some tools that I recently found at a, an estate sale. They did not call it an estate sale, they just called it a garage sale, but it was an estate sale. And uh, in the garage, it was a digger sale where you really had to dig, which is the cells I like. And in a box, there was uh, items wrapped up in old newspaper, and I was unwrapping those items. A lot of them were old woodworking tools. And uh, these are two that I found I really like. I've cleaned them up. And uh, next time I think I'll show some... Well, I have some of the tools here that didn't, I haven't cleaned up yet. And I'll show you those too. But uh, this one I really like. It's this Craftsman. I know Craftsman's not a super collectible. But um, I think they're gonna be, they will become more collectible. And I just really like it. It's in great condition. I did have to clean the metal up. The, these unpainted surfaces. But you can see the condition. Overall condition of it is really nice condition I've oiled it I'm gonna wax it I haven't done that yet I just oiled it cleaned it up and oiled them but it has the craftsman decal which is really cool I th that's the best part to me I just don't see that the craftsman decals like that I just don't see those and has a corrugated sole on it it's a uh, number 50 so it's similar to the Stanley number five great condition the other one's a tri-square, Stanley tri-square. You see tri-squares, old vintage ones with the brass and rosewood, but I don't see them with the uh, Stanley decals very often. And so that's another one that I like, and I just did a quick cleaning. You can see it still has a lot of... Uh, it could be cleaned a lot more, but I just don't like over-cleaning them. And I'm going to wax that, too. Okay, and uh, hold on here, and we'll take a 